Welcome to State of Tech. Let's take a look at the app switcher for the Apple TV. Whenever I come into an app, say for example here, the actual iTunes movies, this will allow me to browse all the movies. And if I hit the menu button, it'll bring me back out to my home screen. Now that didn't really close the app. And if I wanted to, all I have to do is double tap on the top right button on the Siri remote, the one that has a little TV icon. And that's going to open up my app switcher. And here I can see all of the applications that I've recently opened and I can swipe through. And if I want to jump back into one, I can hover over it, click down on my remote control, and it's going to launch that app again. And all I have to do now, if I want to come back into the app switcher, just double click on that same TV button that we did earlier. And it's going to open up the app switcher and I can see that the actual HBO app has been moved to the front. This screen right here is the home screen. So the first app now is HBO and the one next to that would be the movies app, which is the one I had open prior to that. So the application that you recently opened will always be moved into the front. And if you want to close these and free up some of the resources on your Apple TV, just highlight over the app you want to close, swipe up on your Siri remote, just like you do on your iPhone and iPad. And it's going to go ahead and close that application. And then once we start closing them all, the only one that we're going to be left with is the home screen. Now I can come back into here and begin opening up apps again. And sometimes this does make your Apple TV feel a little bit snappier because it's not saving some resources for those open apps.